what I like to do with these is I'm going to put composite in and then what I'm going to do is what I like to call I'm going to set my line angle. So there's two different ways that you can restore these. You can inject the composite, take a thin instrument like this and kind of scoop the composite towards the facial surface. That's one way to do it and that works pretty well. What I don't like about that is it can leave an irregular line angle when you do that. What I like to do is called set my line angle, which is where I'm going to take an instrument, a flat instrument, and I'm just going to slightly fold this to match my line angle. And when I do that, that's when I'm going to have my assistant cure that restoration. I can remove a little bit of excess if I have it. All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to remove just that one matrix band we're going to leave the other one in place and you can see that that contour is pretty spot on with where we want it to be really happy with that and then we would do the exact same thing for this restoration here so that's just a great way to restore these types of restorations really nice curvature there everything just comes out where i don't have to do a lot to the interproximal Facial, I've got a little bit of excess right on the facial, but not on the interproximal surface. My line angle is set. That looks really good. I'm happy with that.